Did you see Saving Private Ryan? Did you see Catch Me If You Can? Did you see the terminal? Yes, the terminal. Yes, the terminal. Don't come at me with your naysaying the terminal. The terminal was a good movie. Yes to the terminal. So Bridge of Spies is directed by Steven Spielberg and it stars Tom Hanks. Who wouldn't want to see this film? Tom Hanks, he plays a lawyer. It's based on a real lawyer. This lawyer is asked by the CIA to go negotiate a prisoner exchange between Russia and the US during the Cold War. That sounds awesome. Unfortunately, I got the vibe in Bridge of Spies that there was never really a whole lot of tension. Every time there was tension in any given scene, it was almost immediately relieved the next scene. I didn't really feel like the stakes were very high. I also wasn't ever really worried about James Donovan's safety. I felt like he was in the hands of the CIA the whole time. Probably not that much is going to happen to him. The script was written by the Coen brothers, directed by Steven Spielberg. It definitely felt like a Spielberg movie. Every shot was gorgeous. The, the movement of the camera, the way he allowed scenes to sort of play out in wide shots. He, he, he let his actors talk to each other and didn't just jump cut the shit out of his movies the way I'm jump cutting the shit out of mine. I felt like the movie was pretty. It was beautiful. The acting was great. The cinematography was great. It is a true story. It's kind of crazy, but this actually happened. I've compared it to Titanic in, oh, hold on, hold on. Yes, Titanic, yes, Titanic. In Titanic, we know the ship is going to sink. Thus, the movie Titanic is not about whether or not the ship sinks. The movie is about a love story between these two characters. Bridge of Spies, I felt like they relied on the tension of will the Russians fire nukes at us? Will we fire nukes at the Russians? We're on the brink of war. Will war happen? I don't know. The problem is, is that I'm sitting here in 2016 and I do know Russia never launched nukes at us and we never launched nukes at them. So relying on that country against country tension sort of felt like it got a little old after a while. We should have a protagonist, a main character that we care about, that we fear for, that we want him to triumph. And in this particular instance, even though the movie was brilliantly acted, brilliantly shot, very well directed, I just don't think that I cared that much about James Donovan. As the movie starts out, there's a, there's a court case going on. We found this potential Russian spy. We think he's a Russian spy. Yeah, but he doesn't speak Russian. He sounds like he's from the UK. Well, he's a Russian spy, so fuck this guy. We're gonna, we're gonna hang him. Well, no, hold on a second. James Donovan says, well, we need to try him. We need to be fair. It's very reminiscent of Batman Begins. I'm not gonna be an executioner, says Bruce Wayne. This man should be tried. So says James Donovan. This man should be tried. But that's not really what the movie's about. It's a story that's based on true events, which is very popular at the Oscars always. And any story can be interesting. It's all about execution and it's all about the matter in which you tell it. I felt like this movie jumped focus a lot of times. First it was the trial, then it was the appeal. Then at one point in time, you're kind of worried for his family. Like, oh, someone fired bullets through his window. His family's in danger. No, not really. And then he's off to East Berlin and he might be in danger, but no, not really. Oh, there was that one time where he got robbed by some German gangsters, but it was like, oh, he's gonna be in trouble now. And then he isn't, he wasn't. Like he, it's fine. I mean, he gave him, he gave them his coat, but then he got another one. Mark Rylance, who played Rudolf Abel, Nominated for an Academy Award, deservedly so. You like that guy. You root for that guy. You feel bad for that guy. You want him to win almost, even though you know that he is probably this Russian spy. But in this movie, I really felt like I didn't know where to place my concern and I didn't know who to root for and I didn't know when to be worried or why to be worried, if that makes any sense. So guys, Bridge of Spies, in true Oscar-nominated film fashion, it had marvelous performances, brilliant direction, wonderful cinematography. This is probably not a movie that I'm really going to watch again, but it's good. Guys, what did you think? Did you like Bridge of Spies? Let me know in the comments below, and if you want to hear any more of my ramblings about movies, you can always click right there to subscribe. I'm here to negotiate the prisoner exchange. No? All right, well, I'll be back tomorrow. All right, I'm back to negotiate the prisoner exchange.
You gonna give me the prisoner? No? All right, well, I'll be back tomorrow. Tom All right, I can't do a Tom Hanks impression. I don't know how to, I don't know how to do a Tom Hanks impression. <laughs> Tom Hanks, how's it going? I don't know, he has this voice. <laughs> I totally can't do a Tom Hanks impression. It's cold out there. Hmm. Oh, German gangsters. I'm in trouble. Oh, you just want my coat. Oh, okay. Here's the coat. There you are. Oh, take my hat too. That's not Saks Fifth Avenue. All right. <laughs> That'll work.